Hi everybody and welcome back to Master Workshops BizDev Portfolio. This is Alicia Diane Arts Channel and I am Alicia Diane. Welcome and let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to continue on with the piece that we've been working on for the last few weeks. Um, it is the, what is it, out of the bottle. So it's a fun one. It has a girl and it features her like she's ordered this um, genie in a bottle off of Amazon and it wasn't ex didn't turn out exactly how she wanted it to. So it's kind of a fun piece. It has a little bit of a gag. And I think that's just one thing to kind of um, note or put into your illustrations, especially when you're doing um, biz dev or concept art for animation or things that are going to be viewed by family audience. You want to, it, it does help to put in like little jokes, little gags. Um, storyboard artists are basically, you know, paid to make things funnier you know i mean of course they're they're creating the scenes and the and the composition and they're making things look beautiful and they're making things look exciting but they're also paid to make things funny so i think it's important to add little bits of humor i think that artists especially um art directors directors um hiring artists hiring um recruiters all appreciate a little bit of humor so i think that it's a good thing to put in there because i mean what is animation family animation without a little bit of humor so let's go ahead and go back into our window in procreate just going to switch my camera well that's not the right one <laughs> hold on that's the wrong one camera a oh man i don't know if it's connected so if it doesn't connect Let's see if I can get it. Do, 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 do. What if I can get it going? Let's see if it will work. My iPad. Please start. Yay! I was so worried I would have to like start over again, but thankfully it worked out okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead back into this piece and I'm gonna rename it out of the bottle. because that's what it is. And I can actually keep that O1 in there just so I know the order when I'm making multiple of these O1 out of the bottle. And I'm just gonna open this up. And it should take us right to where we left off. We did most of the line art last week and we're gonna continue going on. So I'm just gonna zoom in and see where I need to add things. I'm seeing where I changed the color in some places and I wanna go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna go into my color layer Hope you guys are having a good i have multiple color layers okay i hope you guys are having a good friday so far my son made some amazing looking and i should probably show you guys <laughs> this is nothing to do with <laughs> the art but i want to see if i can show you really quick he made these amazing um vegan blueberry waffles and i'm vegan he's not but it was very nice of him to make them so I might be chomping on these a little bit while we're working, so please don't mind. <laughs> All right, so let me fix some of the color here. I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast yet, so please forgive me for multitasking <laughs> at the moment. These are really good. My mom and I were talking about possibly making a bakery because she's been making like pastries forever. And I have the hardest time trying to find, like, good vegan pastries. It's so hard. Even in L.A. where, you know, veganism is normal, where it's not in most places, it's still really hard to find a good vegan bakery. So we're thinking we may collab on that and do something. 
All right, so I'm just going to fix a, um, wherever I see the color is off in places. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the line color. I'm excited to see it with, with the line color change because it really does change the whole piece when you take out that really aggressive black line and you put in a line color that matches the local color, it makes a really big difference. All right, so, That's most of everything I need to fix for the color that was standing out to me. Mm. And I could do this in Photoshop, but I just prefer to do this type of thing in Procreate these days. All right, so let's go ahead and change the line color. And so what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna go up to this line art and I'm going to put it on alpha lock. That's gonna allow me to change the line color because that's going to just color it. When it's on alpha lock, if you guys aren't familiar, it only colors what is on that layer that's already there. So this is what's present on that particular layer so that's all the only thing it's going to let me to color so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some colors for her make them a little darker I'm using a thick brush so let's see might need to go a little bit darker and it's also gonna let me to see where I also need to make more changes on the paint layer I think I'll actually make the line a little bit darker. Because now if you'll notice, you can really see the difference with um, like some spots that I need to change. Just go ahead and fix these up. Photoshop does have the same alpha lock feature. So just so if you're using Photoshop or another program. I'm not sure about the other, um, what's the other one that's popular? I downloaded a a software program but I don't remember what it's called clip studio so that one is a fairly popular one um, I don't I haven't used it yet though so I can't exactly tell you whether or not it works for um, doing alpha lock changing the line color but probably have to do your own research on that one. I think for her nose, I'm going to go darker too. And I'm going to go lighter. I was thinking maybe go lighter for her hair. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because I'm not sure what I want the highlight color to be just yet for her hair. 
So maybe I'll just do this for now, and if I change my mind, I still have the option. Where else is the line for her hair? I'll change it right here. You know what? I'm going to actually just erase this because it's coming over. All right, let's pick a shirt color. So let's go get down. I just make it just a little bit darker than the local color there. Obviously, we haven't done any shading or anything like that yet. We're still in the early stages of color. So what's good is it will keep the texture. I use a, a pencil, but using the alpha log, it keeps that texture, so you don't have to worry about losing that. It took me forever to get that. I didn't know for the longest time that you could do that. I think I learned like in 2017. It's like way after I started making art. I took a, like, I, I mentioned this before, it's, it's taken me a really long time to just um, be able to paint digitally. It was really hard for me at first because I wasn't taught, um, well, I, I'm going to say that, like, back when I was learning, and I, I did go to school for animation, not for illustration, so color was not an emphasis in my particular program. And particularly digital painting just seemed like the art itself was fairly new. So we weren't, it was, it was really like figuring it out because we didn't know what we were doing <laughs> at all in those days. And that was like, you know, 2006 to 2010 once when I was in, in school the first time. So... I mean college, not that I didn't go to school at all, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, we didn't know what we were doing at all, and digital painting back then looked really bad. I've talked about this before, but it's, it's worth mentioning again, because it was awful. It was so just really RGB. <laughs> just totally internet colors we were using because the internet was limited back then remember like when you could only use certain colors to show up on the internet god how we've changed since then it's crazy to even think that that we had to have a limited color palette to put things online <laughs> and it was like super like what was the word so like saturated and gross it was just so ugly and not flattering and that's just how digital paintings looked back then too just oversaturated ugly computerized looking color just was not not cute at all and look at the progress we've made everybody's talking about the future now and the future of ai and the future in general i, I just was like browsing Netflix and I saw that um, Bill Gates has this documentary now about the future and I think he's talking about like CO2 emissions and stuff like that and how I didn't I didn't watch it I think I will because it seems like it's interesting but yeah I didn't see it but it seems like it's about like global warming prevention that's that was the vibe I got anyway all right so I am going to change this little pantaloon color. <laughs> no one says pantaloon anymore, but I do. Um, hmm. I'm just so paranoid about making him look too much like Aladdin's genie. Really don't want him to look like that. And maybe we can do some, get some inspiration for genies online. So not, 
just relying on my imagination because I think in some instances your imagination can lead you in the wrong direction because you're limited to what you know, what you're familiar with, what you're comfortable with. It almost looks like toothpaste. I'm thinking that line is too light, so I'm going to make it darker so you can actually see his features better. And I'm going to need to change a lot in his. And I'm going to change his pant color, so I don't really need to change the line because I'm going to change it again anyway, but whatever. Let's change all of this. And I'm wondering whether or not I want to change his eye. Actually, I think it looks better. Does it? Let's see. I don't know. I'll leave it like that for now. We'll see. Okay. So maybe what we can do the pinch effect doesn't work that great. All right, so let's go to Pinterest. And I'm going to search for Sister for Jeannie. Uh, and you see, even everybody else's imagination, it's the same. <laughs> and then you just get like that Jeannie. That's interesting. I still feel like it looks too Aladdin ish. This is cool. That's definitely like Jasmine over here. Um, I like the yellow and then the bright blue. That's different. And I like this guy with the beard and the body hair. That's fun. I never thought of giving a genie like body hair, but like, why not? Oh, that's kind of cool. Like yellow with like the blue hair. That's interesting. Hmm. These are green, these are green. Hmm. I like the idea of a purple genie. That could be kind of different. I really like these. Because they're just different enough let me see the palette I have again. And I don't know if I saved my palette. <clears throat> I don't think so. Alright, so what I can do is I can go in. I think it's on one of my layers. It is. Alright, so I can turn this on and turn off the other stuff. Maybe I don't because it's me too because it's on the top layer. Hmm. Maybe I can just take my color palette out of there. And then just turn this off and turn off the line art and then I can go ahead and make a new palette. Okay. Because I have this palette saved and um, I have it saved in my Photoshop but not on this. Alright, so let's put Okay. Let's go back to our layers. Alright, so let's see if we can change his color a bit. 
what if I can't, oh, hold on. let me see what the opacity was so I had the opacity on 51 so let's see what if I made him this color I'm on the wrong layer. Alright, here we go. Alright, the line obviously is not working for that, but what if I made it 50%? I think he blends in too much with the background in this color. Hmm. What if I try this really purpley? It looks too much like fear now. Um, what if I take this? Let's try it again. Let me try and change the line and see if I like it anymore. I don't know if I will, but let's try. Or maybe I can just leave him the same color he already was. I don't know if I'm going to, if I want to do that or not, but let's see how we like him like this. Does he still read as Genie? I think I just need to make him like... <laughs> different in different parts. I still kind of feel like he blends in too much with the... bed. You know what, I'm just gonna leave him be the color I made him before. Because I think I like him better that way. I feel maybe I'll just try something different first of all let's give him some variety in his color but yeah instinctually I feel like I like him more like this so I'm gonna leave him like this even if it makes him a little bit generic <laughs> and or maybe it's not generic but maybe that's just what people expect you know it's kind of what I, or maybe it's just like what I expect from a genie. I don't think he looks like the other genie. I'm definitely not going to use like the red and blue. I'm going to try and think what other colors I can make for his pants. Like maybe like complementary color. Like I'm thinking like orange. Some kind of an orange color but not gold because I don't want it to look again too much like the other genie. Oops. I think I did some color. You know, when I didn't mean to, I just meant to do erasing on this layer. Not color. Alright. Okay, let's go back to the other layer. Okay. And what you can do is when you have, when you have um, your items on this board here on the bottom, you can bring things into a split screen. I learned this from, um, I learned that from, what's the name of it? Mm. Domestica. <laughs> um, Lucy, uh, what is her name? She, Lucy, the, uh, I don't remember her, Lucy Fleming. I don't know why I forgot her last name for a second there. But I really like these designs in a way, so maybe I can do something with this. Maybe I can give him a little pony. Maybe the little wisp should be a little ponytail. But I don't want to make his hair black. I want to maybe make it a different color just to make it a little bit different. So I'm going to take the elf lock on so I can draw over that.
change the color. Pencil is smaller. So maybe I can give him a little bit of a ponytail. And I'm wondering if I want to give him any facial hair. I don't really think he looks like a facial hair type of guy. <laughs> Uh, the beards look so fun, though. I'm wondering... What would he look like with a beard? No, he looks old with a beard. I don't want to give him a beard. But maybe I'll just give him some hair. Maybe I'll make his hair purple. I think I'll do that. I think I'll make his hair purple. Okay, so let's go back here. And will his hair be see-through? Maybe his hair is not see-through. I'm wondering, hmm. He doesn't even need to be see-through necessarily, but I feel like I want him to be kind of see-through. So you know what, I'm gonna do that. Let's see how he looks with a little bit of a purple swoosh. So he doesn't look too ghosty. He looks more genie-ish. Just kind of playing around with the design here now. And I feel like I'm gonna use like some orangey colors to complement his um blue color, bluish color. Hmm, should I give him any type of armbands? Or vest. I like the vest. That's kind of fun. Alright, I think I will give him a little vest. So he's not just naked. Okay, let's see. I'm going to sketch the vest first. Let's see. sure that it's going in the right proportions so maybe I'll have it short like a short vest let's see but I want to make sure that everything adds up okay
lower. Let's see. Okay, there's this now. Let's come lower here. Let's see if it comes too far back too, so I'm just adjusting where I want to place is best. And maybe I can search to make it even more interesting. I like this, so maybe I'll just save this, pin it. Let's see. Can't the design. And let's see. Arabic best. So maybe I can find something even more um, authentic. So I'm not just copying someone else's version. This is pretty neat. Mmm, I like that. So it's a good thing to look for the real authentic source. Think about where that culture might come from and then you might be able to get a better idea. Like looking for the original things that can help you create something that feels more authentic than just looking at somebody else's drawing. So let's see. Let's see, how do I want to make this? Of course, I'm not going to make it so elaborate, but maybe I can just do something that feels kind of like it, you know? Has a little bit of that type of embroidery. Can I zoom in more? Alright, so what I'm going to do, so go back to my line, and I'm going to just start to fill this in. So, I'm going to make it darker so I can tell. been wise to do it on a separate layer but I feel like I can still get it done let's just erase the line from oops
I'm wondering too, like making sure that my guy, I wonder if that's gonna look, if having this elaborate vest is gonna match his image as being like this poor genie. <laughs> so I'm trying to think too, I want him to look kind of, He's down and out, kind of, so maybe I'll just, maybe I can just kind of tatter his clothes a little. I think that might help. So he doesn't look like he's like doing well. Because <laughs> if he's a broke genie, I want him to look like a broke genie. So... think about that how I'm gonna portray that maybe some of his things are a little ripped Maybe I'm trying to think. Let's turn this off and see how it looks. All right, interesting. sure if I'm into the vest I'll have to further decide I just want to see it, I think, with the color and see if I like it. And if I don't, then I'll just take it out. Alright, so, so far we have somewhat of a vest going on here. Maybe it's a hand-me-down. Maybe it's a goodwill. I don't know. Have some tea. I have tea today. Didn't have time to brew coffee yet, so 
just made some quick tea. All right, let's go into our color layer again. You know, I'm going to do this on a separate layer just to see if I like it. Mm. I probably should have did the line for this on a separate layer also, but it's all right. Let's see how it goes. the inside a little bit darker. And let's combine that red with a like a deeper purple. to kind of bring that purple from his hair back in. Let's see if we can work with this. I'm still not sure if it's gonna work, but we'll see. I think it's good to experiment, especially if, you know, you're not yet working for somebody. You need to give yourself a chance to make mistakes. That way you can learn from them and kind of see what you like and what you don't. Otherwise, I don't know how we will figure it out. I mean, it's better to just make mistakes when somebody's not, like, watching you <laughs> you know well you guys are watching me but you know what i mean <laughs> when you're not being paid necessarily to do the work and you could potentially get fired i think that's probably a better time to make mistakes Alrighty. it's an interesting vest Alright, so let's change the line and see if it works. I think I'll try, oops, put that back on alpha lock. Remember, it's not going to work without the alpha lock, so try that on alpha lock. I'm trying it with the lighter purple. I mean, I could go darker, but I wanted to see if I like it with the lighter. And if that works or not. Because I do feel like I'll go darker with the red. With the red line. So let's see how this looks. so nervous. I'm afraid I'll hate it. <laughs> I'm so afraid I won't like it. After all of this extra effort. But I gotta be patient. Give it a chance. Here, I might 
gonna take the line up all together versus here. We'll see. It was a subconscious thing, but I'm glad that I made the genie look kind of weak. Like, no muscle tone or anything. It kind of helps, too, with the storyline. It was just kind of instinctual, but I think that that was also a good choice. You don't necessarily want to make your broke genie necessarily look powerful, because it feels like that could be sort of an oxymoron. Alright, I think that's not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe I'll add even some more like little random type of threads. That can be fun. I think this is fun. I like his little vest. I think it does work. All right, good. All right, so let's go ahead and add some more detail to this guy. I'm gonna go to his body color and I'm gonna put that on alpha lock so that I can play with his shading a bit. And I think I'll use this been using this for like skin shading and stutch. I think I said stutch. I mean and stuff. I think too where I want it to be lighter, where I want it to be darker. Just gonna kinda go by instinct and where I feel the light source is coming from. And... I'm glad now that I did put that. I wonder, I think I will still leave his, um, his little genie pants. <laughs> if that's what they're called. What are the harem pants? I think I, that's what the name that we agreed on. I, believe, I think I'm going to leave his harem pants the same color. I'm just going to play with the shading a bit more. To do that, I think I think I want to try and experiment with that watercolor. I wonder what that will look like if I kind of experiment with that. Oh, that's too big. It's too small. I don't know if I like this brush. 
Let me try. Let's try this one. Okay, I like this one more. Maybe I'll go really dark when we get closer to the, um, where the apparition's coming. I keep calling him an apparition. Well, he feels like a kind of apparition-y. I don't know that apparition is a word, but it feels right to me. I think I might want to experiment a bit. Let's see. Exactly the effect I want. I think I might still need to try some things. I don't think I like how this is looking. to find like the right color that I want. Let's see. And the right texture that I want too. I like this one better. It feels so drastic. Maybe I'll make another layer. Make that a clipping mask. And let's see what we can do. So I think what I'll try and do is just change the opacity. And maybe even the layer type to get the effect that I'm trying to get. Maybe we take that way down. We could even maybe change. The type. That looks crazy. Whoa. That I can use to something else. I can see where that can probably come in handy. Not for this. But I can see where that can fit in somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try and take the PC of this down. A little more see-through than I thought it would be. To 50, it looks like you can't see it at all. So maybe just... What if I just put it on multiply? No. I think I'll just maybe take him down. Just a bit. And let's play with his hair some more. And these are these brushes are from um, are also from Lucy Fleming. She has like she does this like I think that's where she's getting most of her money now. It's like from brushes because she's very good at designing brushes. I have no idea how to make my own brushes. I wish I did, but I do not. For the hair. And maybe I'll just take this and go to the Alpha Lock on Line Art and change that. Because hair doesn't necess doesn't really need an outline, so I'm just making it to match that color that it already is. And what I'll do now is I'll probably just add little strands. Wrong brush. Maybe lighter in some parts over here, yeah. All right, so for the bottom, you know what? I'm wondering if I want to just take that off altogether and then just make his bottom half blue. I think I might do that. Let's see. Is there something I didn't like about it? That I couldn't exactly put my finger on, but it just didn't feel... It just felt kind of messy. So what I'll do now Why is that the wrong color?
right, so let's take this color, get a lot darker for the line. Take this down to like, let's try that. <coughs> Keep forgetting. <laughs> I gotta remember to alpha lock it. There we go. That's interesting. Let's see if I want to make him a little bit more solid. Maybe 80. That could work. Um, okay. Well, I do think we are sort of out of time for today. But God, I just want to finish. <laughs> There's so much more to do. Man, there's so much more to do. But this was a good um, progress that we made so far. And there's a lot more I wanna do. I think I will maybe change his hair color though. Maybe I'll still make it green, but maybe just, or like his color, but maybe just deeper. Let's see. So I don't know, I don't like his purple hair. So much I'm realizing, I'm like, ooh, I don't like that. I like this hair better green. should take this color that I had before. That make more sense. Go back here, second. Eight percent. Let's just take a lighter color of this too. I'll try and blend it up. Let's see how that works. And go back here. Does that feel any better? A little bit, but it still feels like there's a long way to go. So, we shall continue. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so I want to thank you so much for joining me for this time and this that portfolio. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this session. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, and I will guys see you guys on Monday. We're gonna continue off where we left off. Alright, so have a great weekend. I'll see you then. Be grateful, live balanced, and be yourself. Bye bye.